Welcome to the middleware shop again. What we're going to do now is continue the silent installation of uh, Web Spray Application Server version 8 using a response file that we recorded previously in um, one of my previous videos. Uh, essentially, we navigate to the IBM Installation Manager's root, and what we do is we run the IBM Installation Manager command with these appropriate settings. The key thing here is it doesn't really matter what the path is, it depends on your environment and what you uh, did to record your file, i.e. where it was placed. But the idea is, is that we pass in um, the um, um, actual file itself that we uh, recorded and then we say that we want to send a log to a particular location and we send in the accept license parameter. And what we're going to do in the next few steps is in fact um, uh, run this installation. Um, one of the things is once we've completed it we'd obviously verify the information and we can also issue the version info um, .sh command that's been seen earlier in some of my other presentations and um, we would then be able to verify that we've actually created um, our installation. So what I'm going to do now is switch over to showing you how we actually run this installation. Welcome back. What we're going to do now is continue on from my presentation and uh, run a command line that's going to run the response file that recorded. As you can see, I've crafted um, this particular uh, command below here, and it uses the response file that we recorded earlier. And we then specify the logs and the fact that we're going to accept the license. So what I'm going to do now is uh, copy this command and then essentially I'm going to um, paste that into my um, IBM Installation Manager route. Now, um, where is my IBM Installation Manager? So all I need to do is change into um, um, where IBM Installation Manager is installed and we can see here that um, I am in um, opt IBM Installation Manager which is the default uh, installation directory that's used in Linux. What I'm going to do now is change into the Eclipse folder and we can see here that I now can have access to the IBM installation manager command. So what I'm going to do now is paste in the command that we want to run, hit enter. And what's happening now is the um, installation manager is now essentially um, running uh, the installation. So what's going to happen now is that the process will install WebSphere version 8 using the response file which is obviously pointing at the configured repository that we set up and using the response file to actually direct IBM Installation Manager to perform the installation. I'm going to pause uh, while it completes this installation and come back in a few minutes. We can see now that as I continue the video that we've actually installed IBM Installation Manager's implementation of WebSphere Application Server version 8. And we can see here that if I copy the location that we specified in our recording and I actually navigate to that particular location, we now have IBM Application Server installed. So listing this folder, we can see that there's the binaries. If I change directory into the bin folder, we can see that we have the installation there. So just get it in a different format. Uh, one cool command is called version info. Uh, seasoned uh, web to administrators will know this command. And what we can do is we can then run that command and it will report to us the uh, installation version of web to application server. We can see here that we actually have um, network deployment installed. It's version 8004, it's ND trial and it's um, a 32-bit um, SDK in this particular instance. So there you go, we've now installed um, IBM Application Web Server version 8. Now we need to go and create some profiles. So in my next videos, I'll show you how to create profiles for Deployment Manager and a um, Application Server profile, or better still, a Node profile for a uh, uh, federated node so that we can then essentially run um, a JVM within that node and then start managing that from the administration console.